Hey guys, today we're talking about how to reduce volatility in your portfolio. Super important concept, get you some downside protection, and more importantly, protect you if ever there's a stock market crash. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com, head of the Tatro Wealth Advisor Group here at Canaccord Genuity Wealth Management. Brings me great joy to be here today to talk to you guys about this. Before we get into the video, take a quick second, give us a follow, uh, give us a like, give us a share, and also uh, go to speaktorob.com if you ever have any questions about this, anything else in your investment portfolio, financial planning, anything wealth related, go to speaktorob.com, we'll book a free consultation for you, we'd love to have a chat with you. All right, volatility in a portfolio, how do we do it? How does a good portfolio manager reduce volatility? So for us, it starts with, first of all, taking a look at your asset allocation. So asset allocation is the amount of volatility that you can sustain or stand uh, amount of volatility that you could sustain or stand over a period of time. So if you're not able to stomach a 40% loss, you're not going to be 100% equities. Equities is an asset class that historically has outperformed, but also historically has had more volatility. So there is no free lunch, right? So if you want the equities, you're going to get the free volatility as well. If you don't want the, the, the volatility, sometimes you'll go towards a fixed income. So a balanced strategy would be one that would have less volatility, maybe 60% equities, 40% fixed income, but you'd also have less returns. So that's the first step, taking a look at asset allocation. What is a proper asset allocation? And we've done videos on this before. Feel free to check those out if you want to understand what your asset allocation should be. It starts there. It starts with asset allocation. Second of all, taking a look at in the equity portfolio, in the portion of your portfolio that's equities, can we find stocks that have either a lower beta relative to the stock market and stronger cash flow. So if we focus on companies that if the market falls 10%, they only fall 8%, well, that's dramatically less volatility. And if there is strong cash flow, and if there are proven consistent cash flow and proven consistent dividends, typically those companies will have less volatility. So if you own those in your portfolio and there is a crash, usually those maintain their value a little bit more. So focusing on companies that have lower beta with higher expected return or higher expected cash flow. That's one thing. Two, we want to find uncorrelated asset classes. So an asset class that either doesn't move or is uncorrelated to the market. So that might be something like a private debt. Maybe it's a private equity. Maybe it's uh, you know a limited partnership or a private real estate investment. And those will have sometimes way less volatility or no volatility. So if we can find an asset class that produces income or dividends or yield with a little bit of growth, regardless what happens in the market, well, that's an easy way to reduce volatility. Three, if we can have assets that have zero volatility whatsoever, something that is either valuated quarterly or semi-annually or even annually that pays cash flow, that pays income, and yet is stable, has downside protection, but doesn't move, that does wonders for a portfolio and its volatility. If you have an asset the shares stay at 10 bucks for the entire year and you get a crash, that's a very good feeling knowing that your 10 bucks is still 10 bucks. We also want to take a look at asset classes that have some principal protection built in. So you can do that through something called a structured note or a principal protected note. These are equity-like com components or equity-like investments that have one portion of, of the assets buying either protection for a crash. So the assets are usually principal protected or the first 40% of the assets are protected. That does wonders for downside protection in a crash because the assets are fully principal protected. A concrete example of that would be a principal protected note tied to an underlying index. The underlying index could be the TSX or bank stocks, but the underlying note is fully principal protected. So if there is a crash, the assets are guaranteed. You still get the exposure to the market, but you actually get the principal protection on the assets. So taking a look at assets that are uncorrelated, taking a look at principal protected assets, taking a look at assets that have lower beta, and taking a look at alternative assets are all things that we do to take a look at volatility. It begins with the asset allocation. And again, this kind of stuff, if you're not sure and you're wondering, you know, what is he talking about or how is my asset allocation? Do I have the right asset allocation? Go to speaktorob.com reach out to us, we'll give you a free consultation, you'll have some peace of mind. So for us, volatility and risk reduction is not something we only consider when we think a market crash is coming. We do this on a day-to-day -day basis with all our portfolios 
all the time. Whether or not we're hitting new highs or we're hitting rock bottoms in the market, it is important to factor in volatility, what you're able to stomach, and this has to be done in conjunction with a plan. It has to be done in conjunction with a cash flow projection for your needs, for your retirement, for what it looks like for you. So you're the one who needs to sleep at night. You're the one who needs that cash flow. You're the one who has uh, you know, desire to retire. Maybe you're already retired. So we have to build that portfolio for you based on your needs. So that's where it starts. It's not a cookie cutter portfolio. It's, it truly is a custom built portfolio for you based on asset allocation, needs, and tolerance. It's not something we do off the cuff once in a while when someone talks about an inverted yield curve and people are talking about a recession. No, that's not how we do it. We're always looking at it. So if that's a concern for you, please make sure to go to Speak to Rob, chat with us. So folks, there are some few strategies we use to reduce volatility. Thankful that you took the time to tune in today. If you like what you see, please give us a like, give us a share. We put out some great content. We'd love to hear from you. Give us your two cents on what you thought of the video. Maybe you have a different opinion. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com, head of the Tatro Wealth Advisory Group here at Canaccord Genuity Wealth Management. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.